Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today, Skyrim. Yeah, we're going back for this one. We are in the Skyrim Anniversary Edition today. Skyrim's 10 years old. It was Skyrim's birthday on the 11th of November. Man. This released on the 11th of November 2011. And I want to say the game is still pretty damn fantastic 10 years later. So they released another version of Skyrim. The Anniversary Edition. It is the Special Edition that they've taken and upgraded with a bunch of mods and user created content from the workshop it seems pretty cool as someone that hasn't really spent much time modding the game i never really used any mods it's something that i do look forward to but with all of that said i don't have a character creation video for skyrim up it's crazy 10 years later and i still haven't done a character creation video i have a playthrough up on youtube and in that playthrough i did spend a small amount of time making the character that I wanted to make, but I didn't really explore all the options. So, hey, here we are. We're going to have a look at this character creator. We're going to see what's available to us. I don't know if anything new was added with the special edition or the anniversary edition, but hey, if anything new was added, it's in this right now, and we're going to see it. So, let's jump on in. If you want to skip to any specific race or any specific part of the video, I will put the timestamps down below and you can do that. We're going to start at the top of the list. It's, I think, the easiest way to go about it. We are going to be going through all the male characters first. Then we'll be going through all the females. But to start things off, I will just go through all the race descriptions because it's easier to do them, you know, all in one go. And then we'll do the customization after that. That's the plan. So, Argonian. This reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the hist skin to regenerate health very quickly. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of Hyrox Bretons can post a resistance to magic. Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. Oh, the Dark Elves, also known as Dunmer, in their homeland of Morrowind. Dark Elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. High Elves, also known as the Eltmer, in their homeland of the Somerset Isle. The High Elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon the Highborn Power to regenerate Magicka quickly. It's kind of cool that all these names and stuff, you know, the Black Marshes, the Somerset Isle, you can visit all those places in Elder Scrolls Online. I find that fantastic. I absolutely can't wait for Elder Scrolls 6, man. I really hope that they go all out on it. I, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Imperial. Natives of Cyrodiil. They have proved to be shrewd diplomats and traders. They're skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, the Imperials always seem to find a few more that can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. Khajiit. Hailing from the province of elsewhere, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark and will have unarmed claw attacks. Nord. Citizens of Skyrim. They are tall and fair-haired people, strong and hardy. Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make their opponents flee. Orcs. The people of the Rothgardian and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using their berserker rage. Redguard. The most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel, the Red Guards of Hammerfell, have a hardy constitution and natural resistance to poison. They call upon an adrenaline rush in combat. Wood Elves. The clans of the western Valenwood Forest, also known as Bosma. Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves. There are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have a natural resistance to both poisons and diseases and can command animals to fight for them. 
that's pretty cool man once again i love the fact that you can sort of check all their homelands out and all those areas out in eso again i just wish it was available in a game like this so we're gonna start with argonians we're gonna jump into the body section here i actually think that this character creator was like really ahead of its time you can change male and female all right but for now we're gonna start with the males then we'll go through all of them then we'll check the females out i mean that said the female section might be a little less because the options are probably going to be sort of similar but eh, let's have a look let's have a look they have a couple of presets here now the way the presets work is they just have like a bunch of the customization options that you find here mixed up it's basically in the more modern character creators that section where you pick the face of your character and then the whole body and everything changes with it it's a preset character that they built for you that you can use it's pretty cool uh, there are some decent options here it's nice because it's sort of like the randomized option you can sort of flick through these and see what you like the most what color you like or whatever and then you can you know customize from that point on i like when these guys have the colorful feathers and stuff and the horns look pretty sick lots of different colors here as well kind of nice that red is oof, that's really bright so we're gonna go with the basic one let's check the skin tone out how much does it affect it oh you see this is not just like a a, a slider that changes the, the 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 tone itself and like the brightness this is just completely different colors you got like all the different shades that they can be you got the darker ones here you got some lighter ones in between there's a pink shade there wow that's pretty sick yeah i, I don't know where i would go if i was going to go for a lizard man but you know and then you can change the weight i i guess that also changes the musculature of the body a little bit because you can see like the character doesn't really look overweight or anything he just looks like he's got some muscles on him now we're gonna go for skinny I don't know. I don't like the clipping of the arms. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. Uh, it seems like... Yeah, we're good to go here. Next. Head. Complexion. Now, how do you even see the complexion on these guys? Oh, it's like... Hey, take that little color over there and expand it across the entire face. Or not. It just spreads the, the lesser color more. That... I wonder if that's going to be the same. Let's let's do a test because this is kind of important if you're going to be making one of these characters. Uh, this is such a janky menu. Oh my god. So if we take a different preset, uh, then let's go for like the, the blue one. Okay. Then we do this. Ah, okay. It's light and dark. It's light and dark. But it does seem to take that. Let's go back and we change it to the darkest one. There was this, there was this like sort of ebony one here somewhere. Where is it? This guy okay and then let's see if it's just gonna make it lighter yeah okay so just keep in mind that's what it's gonna do and you're gonna have the option to to make your face look a little different by doing that i wow okay here we go skin tone uh let's go for a lighter one that's fine that's fine so complexion wise it doesn't really matter you can do whatever you want there dirt on the face you are not going to see much of the dirt on the face because they're Argonian, they're covered in scales, in case you didn't notice. Uh, that's why there's only one slider here, you can't really do much with it. Dirt color. Okay. You can make it like a sooty black, or like a, maybe that's a bloody or bloody red, or like mucky brown or something. I can't really tell, I'm a little bit colorblind, but <laughs> you, you got the options there. You can take the dirt off, and then if you change that, it shouldn't do anything. Yeah. Scars. Okay. I mean, I can see the scar over there. It's, it's a little faint. Once again, you sort of lose a lot of what you're doing because of the fact that you're Argonian. War paint. This should be okay. Uh, I mean, a little faint. It's a little faint. It's not really... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. If we change the color. So let's put the war paint like that. Let's make that one that goes over the edges. There we go. Let's make it a darker color. Ah, that's much better. Dude, that red is fantastic. Wow. That is so bright. You know, it actually looks like someone used a highlighter on their face. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's funny the way they're doing this is they're not actually slapping a, a, a like a regular old coat of paint on this guy's face it looks like they're using some weird saturation nonsense to to change the color that's already there into a different color i like it i, I like the way they do it i mean the war paint looks good these bright colors they're kind of sick but okay we'll turn that off for now so we can see the other stuff face nose type okay okay it's like a little more protruding, a little less, even more, bigger at the front, smaller at the front, wider at the middle, 
and and more like sort of knows you on top yeah 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 okay okay that's cool it's a lot of options nose height <laughs> yeah yeah okay i mean it's kind of nice <laughs> oh man oh oh shit hell yes give him a real big schnoz dude I don't think it looks that great, but it looks kind of shitty when you print it all the way. Dude, when you bring it all the way back, it looks like you ran into a glass door or something, you know? It looks like there was a horrible accident that happened. I think this this probably is better just somewhere in the middle. Jaws. Let's check the jaws out. Oh, yeah. So, you put some, like, big horns on the side here. Then you mess with the jowls a little bit, make them nice and wide. So you can sort of have them protruding a little bit. Jaw height. Oh, yeah! Okay, very interesting. It's like when you go up and down this little bit here, you can see that back piece doesn't move. But when you do that last little bit, then it, then then this last little bit of the bar over here just lifts those two at the back up. It's very interesting how they did it. I like it. I like it. So jaw forward. Okay. You know, I one would think that this would be part of the jaw, but I guess this might be the, the mouth. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. cheekbones oh yeah of course that's where the cheekbones are width yes dude i swear you can probably really mess these guys up cheekbone width we did let's do cheek color what oh is that like a special marking for the argonians oh it is yeah this is the cheek that line over there cool that's cool laugh lines what the shit that's the laugh line right there that's very specific. Cheek color lower. Oh my god, you can make one colorful reptile here. I should actually go with all the red ones to test how it looks. If I put it there, it's probably going to be red again, right? Yeah, it's red, it's red. Check it out. I mean, that does look pretty sick. Nose color. Oh my god, we put them all on red. Chin color. Jesus. It's like I'm pumping my ride here. <laughs> it really feels like I'm customizing a car. Neck color. Whoa. Red. Yeah, dude. Forehead. Also red. Dude, yeah. That's menacing. Let's do the skin color again quickly. And... Let's see if we can... Make it darker. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yes, man. Looking fierce. Okay, so we're done with... I would say most of this. Yeah. We good. We're gonna go on to the eyes now. Eye shape. Very weird that this is a slider with different options. It's basically the eye size, but then at the end here, you get the little horns that you can ex add extra. It looks cool from the front. You can see. It looks kind of cool from the front. There you go. We'll, we'll leave them on. Eye color. Oh my god. Jeez, dude. There are options here. This really was a masterpiece. This game. Oh my god. Look at this. Like 2011. This game really was before its time. Huh? It was so far ahead of its time. It's not even funny. Yeah, the other games didn't stand a chance back in 2011. I'm just saying, man. What does the depth even do? Oh, wow. Okay, it does a lot. You just don't see it. Eyeliner. Can I make that red too? Oh, wow. Man, I love that they line it all up and you can sort of find the color everywhere. Like, it, you know the red is there. Done. Eyeshadow. Surely there's no eyeshadow. Okay, that's not where eyeshadow usually goes. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is technically. Yeah. So again, the colors line up nicely. So if you want all blue, you'll always go to that point over there. So if I do this and this, blue and blue, you see. But I'm going for red now. There you go. That is very interesting. Eye tint. That's also there. Same thing. Same thing again. Dude, that's... Yeah. I like it. I like it. Brow. There are so many options. Brow type. Oh, shit. Hell yes. More horns, dude. More horns. If you're going to play on one of these, you got to go all out, huh? 
Don't fart around with half measures. No, no, no. You go all in, dude. You go all in. All in. Mouth. Mouth shape. Let's have a look. Okay, it's like the lips, basically. It's basically the lips. Yeah. Mouth height. Okay. See, these aren't doing very much. It's like you can't really change much here. The chin width is going to affect it a bit, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a lot. That's kind of sick. Chin length. All right. Chin forward. It's not moving that much, but it's enough to matter. And then lip color. I can see the lips already. Yeah, there it is. Around the front. So, again, same colors. We'll go with the red. And now, mmm, the finale, the hair. Oh, shit, dude, look at those horns. I kind of wish you could change the color on them, make them darker, more menacing. But I think that that's where you'll find the different styles. Like, there, these ones already have a little bit more going for them. Check that out. Holy crap, I didn't know they could have such big horns. Hell yes, man, I'd go for these. These ones? Or the ones with the, with the ring on? Where are they? There, are these. No, 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 I like the ones with four. Oh, it's not four. It's like two, four, six, eight. That's sick. Hair color. Oh, you do change the horns. Oh, but not really. Okay. That's the feathers, right? Let's see. Wow. So is it also in the same spot? No, you hear the red is further down. The red's over here at the end. The feathers look nice. I personally, however, just prefer the, I prefer the horns, you know? That's like, that's really cool. Okay. Wow. Argonians, man. Argonians. Wow. We're going back. We're going back. Okay. Britons. Are you, do we get, does it save if I go back there? It does. Sick. Sick. Yo, Britons. Show me what's good. Can you look at the camera, please? Thank you. Ha. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Dude, I'm, I'm looking at these and I'm getting the feeling I've never actually spent any time in the character creator in Skyrim. I'm just I'm just thinking to myself, this all looks unfamiliar to me. Okay, we're going to go with off-brand Russell Crowe here. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. You can sort of do... You can sort of do both extremes here. White. Eh. Once again, not really a big thing. Doesn't really change all that much. Uh, the presets were cool already. I think here these settings are going to have a lot more of an impact. Uh, back up to complexion. Okay. That's like the mod skin, the, the pox on him, the, the dirt, the... Uh, I guess that's wrinkles and stuff. Yeah. The dirt, I mean, it's, it's highly uninspiring. It's like, it's just, it's dirt. I don't know why you'd cover your character's face in dirt in perpetuity. You know, they should make the new... Elder Scrolls game have like dynamic everything. Your character's hair should grow, facial hair, like Red Dead does, dirt on the face, all that stuff. Dude, Red Dead Redemption 2 was like that 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 was that was an experience. I loved that. I loved seeing my character like properly age and and get dirty and and grow hair and and I loved seeing the character change, you know, based on what you were doing in the world. You have a scuffle in a mud pit, you're going to be full of shit. Well, mud in that case. Unless there was shit in the mud. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Scars. That kind of that kind of dynamic like system, it does have a place in a game like this, to be honest. It really does. Okay, those are the scars. Nothing too special. This really is a bit of a arduous task working with the Wow, wow. Working with the menu here. Hey, I think the war paint looks so much better on the characters where you can actually see the war paint. Wow, who'd who'd have thought? Huh? Who'd have thought? Okay, there are some cool styles here. I think we can change the color as well. Uh, I, I really personally, I like these, these like, these ones with like the slashes, you know? Then you can change the color and honestly, there's a lot of colors. There's a lot. It's a good, it's a good selection. I personally, once again, like the red. Uh, I like the black ones too. Uh, but the red and the brown and the sort of more, I want to say the more natural colors, they, they sort of work for me. I dig it. 
Uh, but we're not going to go with the war paint now, so we can see the face and everything else that's going on there. Let's take the scars off as well. That's it. Face. Nose type. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through them like this, then I'm going to turn the character's head so we can just see how big this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That is insane. You can go full hook nose. I wonder if you can, like, go further with that. What? Dude, you could probably make such a, like, a, a perfect, like, old hag witch type thing. I, I, honestly, wow. With a nose like that, that's scary. That's scary stuff. I like it. Okay. Huh. Yeah. I mean, we're going to leave all of this sort of semi in the middle so we can have a look at all the options. Again, if anyone wonders why I end up looking at them like both sides and then I put it back in the middle. I put it back in the middle because a lot of the other options, they sort of depend on the face looking half normal, you know, to, to actually work properly. So if you want to see how, as an example, the cheekbone width looks, it would be better if all the other stuff is, is in a more natural position anyway. It's just sort of common procedure. Uh, let's see, cheek color. It seems to be a, a good way of doing things in character creators. Okay, we can just put some... It's not the cheek color. It's like the dirt on the cheeks color. Laugh lines. Here we go. What is this going to look like? That... Okay, man. I don't know if I'd call those laugh lines. That's just, once again, some dirt on the face. Okay, okay cheek lower color it's just that's the like the five o'clock shadow that you can put in there i don't know i don't know nose color okay what it looks like he works in the coal mine that's really weird oh god this menu chin color neck color yeah it's okay you you get the idea you can legit just put like a shadow over his whole face. Eyes. Eye shape. Okay. It's like sort of, I feel like this is the mood of the character. Like, you can sort of change your first impressions here. You know? You can be completely unimpressed. You can be like terrified. You can be uh, confident. You can be skeptical. Yeah. It's kind of cool. You can be a little sad too, as you can see over there. Eye color. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, so you don't get to choose individually, but you do get to choose one or the other. I like that, I suppose. Yeah, and, and it really like gives you the options, huh? There's the, there's the black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's usually my go-to. Wow, dude, blue is the sky. Okay, eye height, eye width. Yeah, you can make make a really weird-looking person in this. I mean, the characters in these games generally tend to look a little weird anyway. <laughs> you can go a little bug-eyed there if you want. Okay, eyeliner. Eyeshadow. You know, I guess the Argonian eyeshadow was in the correct place, all things considered. But but it, it, to me, it looked like we were more changing the eyebrow color on the Argonians instead of the eyeshadow. Okay, and then the eye tint. That's below the eyes. Okay, so there's a bunch of different colors here that you can choose for that. Brow. Brow type. Oh, yeah. I mean, geez, some of these are really uh, fuzzy. Wow, look at that one. Those look like flames. Jesus. This is a massive selection of unstylish brows. Like, you should just go for the first one and forget about it, huh? That's basically what it comes down to. Huh. Okay, the mouth. Hello. 
I'm actually most keen for the hair. Like, I honestly, I, I don't know what's going on in this game. Where do we do? I wonder if the beard is there. Where do we do? Because, I, yeah, I, I, again, I went straight for, like, the Bosma. And I made a female Bosma. And I didn't really look at the others back when I played it. And, again, that was, like, legit 10 years ago when the game first came out. Mouth forward, mouth back. How much is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. The chin. Wow. Hey, that actually makes a big difference in how the character looks. Wow. Yeah. And you know what? Like, that makes sense. And this makes sense. They're both sort of... It's acceptable. You know? Oh, this should be... Wow. I mean, I've seen people that look like this. For real. Chin forward. Yeah, why not? Lip color. Is this basically lipstick or... Yes, it is. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. Great. Funny how the character still looks exactly the same. I mean, I do keep resetting the settings, but like... Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Wow, that's... Okay. Okay, okay. So they're really catering to the everyman here, aren't they? Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the... Hit. Why didn't they... I guess... I guess Breton doesn't default. These look like the... Like Nord hairstyles. Like old Ulfric Stormcloak back there, you know? Yeah, this looks okay. I mean, you can definitely sort of feel that this game is a little older when you look at the hair and the and the texture work and stuff and the models of the hair and whatever. You you can definitely you can sense its age a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. But uh, it still looks okay, man. It still looks okay. There's a there's a couple of interesting styles here. I don't know what I would go for personally, but like, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of interesting styles here. I feel like this guy, he would probably be better off with like a shortish style. Not a huge selection of short styles, but like, you know, he'd probably be better off with something like... Maybe this one. I don't know. Just for this guy we have here. Facial hair. Let's check it out. Okay. Yeah, he definitely needs a beard. That chin needs to be covered up. You got the stubble. Shorter. Longer. Fluffier. Neck beards, goatees, mustache. Where are the big beards? Where are the big beard? Aha! That's looking good already. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look, when you when you have this like shorter facial styles, it doesn't look great. This game actually does the longer beards way better in my opinion. Yeah, this is already like so much better. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 dude. The beard is well done. The beard is good. The hair uh, is, is not so It's not so good. It's not so good. Then we can change the color. So I think the Bretons are sort of the this race that specifically has sort of the pale skin and the darker hair. Okay, you got the grayest colors here. You got the blondes. You got the browns. You got all the regular styles. You can't. This is Skyrim. You don't go crazy in this. You don't use the RGB sliders and 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 the the gradient wheels or whatever to pick all the crazy blues and greens and pinks. No, this is more down to earth style colors. I, I can respect that. I can respect that. That's cool. Okay, that's it for male Britain. Dark elf. Yeah, dude. Here we're getting into something a little different, huh? A little different. Presets. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are they mostly going to be look like old men? I think that's just the style we work with here. It's like, it's what you've come to expect. Okay, that's not what I came to expect. What the shit is going on over there? Yo, I like this. Yeah, that's menacing, dude. I don't know. It just always makes me think of sickly night elves from World of Warcraft. I'm sorry that I make that comparison, but like, this guy actually looks kind of scary. You... Yeah, you'll, you'll cross the street if this guy's walking towards you. <laughs> Shit, we're going to go from this, the primary one again, though. Uh, we generally tend to like that. That's what we do. Uh, how bright can you go with this? The skin color? Not not a huge selection of, of colors here, i got to say. Like, I swear there was a darker one. Let me just check. Yeah, like, these ones are darker, but the skin color is not actually darker. What they're doing is they're using the, the dirt on the face, I think. It looks like they're using the dirt on the face. See, these guys just look good when you put the musculature up. I'll put it halfway, sort of in the middle there. Complexion. Let's go. 
So what is he doing here? Let's see. Is the complexion changing? Like, yeah, it's the scarring and stuff, the wrinkles, all that stuff there. Yeah, okay. Not a lot of choices. Not a lot of, like, it's basically younger or older. It, that's how I feel it works anyway. And then the dirt... You know, this is the same as on the Bretons, where, like, you, you push the dirt color up, uh, you, you make it the darker color, because this is the opacity, basically. It's not really the color. It's, it's low opacity, medium, high, whatever, you know. That's it. And with this, it's like... Yeah, if you want to cover your face up, make it darker, you know, more power to you. You've got the option here. Cool, 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 cool. Personally, I don't enjoy that. I think it looks kind of stupid, but yeah, that's whatever. You know, you, this is a kind of game where you could role play and like really get into your character. And, and that kind of thing would work on certain characters. Then it makes perfect sense, of course. And then I'd be like, yeah, go for it. But uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird on, on a regular old character that you're trying to look heroic on and trying to be the old uh, dragonborn on. It's kind of weird if you have an old dirty face, you know. And this is this is Skyrim, okay. Your mom's not going to bring the wet cloth to wipe your face for you. No, no, no. You got to make your own luck here. Got to do that shit by yourself. War paint. So let's see. It's the same war paint. Yeah, exactly the same as the. Uh, this one's pretty intense. Where was that one? I just saw that one. <laughs> you know, it's actually kind of sick. It's it's very intense, but it's kind of cool. It's the same war paint as the Britons had, although these last few might be different. I'm not sure. Is, are they different? I don't know. I kind of like it, but again, for the purpose of creating the character, we're just going to check one. Look at the colors. Oh, yeah. So the whiter colors definitely have more of an impact if you have a darker skin like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like the golden colors too. It doesn't match the race very well, but I like them. Right, face. You know, the one thing I think that they should have had in this, and they have a preset option, which is sort of, it's sort of the same thing. But like, the one thing I, I think would have been good in this is, is a face option, where you could just sort of choose just a few basic layouts for the face and the shape and all that stuff i realize again that the that the preset does that but you must realize as well you must uh, keep in mind the preset changes everything it changes the hair the skin color the uh, the scars the, the dirt and the war paint and all that stuff so it's not really the same thing i mean i'm not really here to criticize the character creator i'm not really here to give input either because this shit's never going to change uh, you know they might release the game in five years time again for the 15 year anniversary and they might add something new to it then but like uh you know it, i don't think they're going to change much here I, I you know i'm saying that now but I, I wouldn't be surprised if in five years time there's a comment down in the comment section of this video saying ha 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 little did lumen know that they would remaster skyrim you know and i wouldn't be surprised and and you know what i'd play it I'd play it if they remastered this game. Okay, so the nose is... Yeah, there's a lot of different choices. I'd play it. I feel like that just suits the... the Dark Elves. When the Snooties pulled up. Yeah, man. These guys don't like you. They pull their nose up at everything. Okay, jaws. Nose length. Nose length's not too impactful here, but again, you have to sort of mix it with the different types of noses. So, like, if you go for the full-on hook nose, you'll see that the facial shape... And the uh, choices that we have here are, are very much the same as the Breton. It's like, you know, you get in a lot of choices and you get in a lot of different stuff on the Dark Elves. But at the end of the day, it is actually the same model that you're just busy working with. And it's the same model with just a different skin, a different color, and a, a different style to it. But it's the same. So your, your options and stuff are going to work a little differently. Because, like, if you're moving the jaw around on here, of course, you've he's got slightly more gaunt cheeks. Uh, his, his cheeks are more sunken in there. And it's going to look different, regardless. Uh, you know, the cheekbones, as you can see here, are much more protruding. They, they're much more prominent up there. So they're going to move a lot more. It's sort of a, it's a weird combo thing. But the options themselves are the same. And the base model is the same. So with the colors here, you know what we're going to get. I can actually probably skip these, but I'm not going to. I'm still going to look at every one. The, see, the laugh lines do literally nothing. Like, what the hell is that even? So, the, the, the colors here, nose color, it's the same shit everywhere. I don't know what it is. I mean, I realize that that's like the plain one. That's like a reddier color or like a warmer color, colder color, darker color. It's like standard, warm, cold, dark. That's what you go in for here. It's the same thing through all of them. Uh, you can sort of mix it all up. And I suppose 
at the end of the day, you can make something look a whole lot different. Like, you can make your character have a warmer look, or a cooler look, or a darker look. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, it's whatever. You can do it if you want. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Holy crap. There we go. Dude, let's go through these slowly. This is nice. So here, you're getting, like, a massive difference. On the Breton, there was, like, nothing really happening. But here... Dude, that changes the entire look of the character. And there's so many of them. Can I click on the arrow? No. Dude, this this is such a scuffed UI. Oh, that guy. He's done, dude. He's done. And this one's angry. Oh, angry and judging you. Angry and unimpressed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Look at those little pig eyes. You can barely see them up under those brows, man. Yeah, these are cool. These are cool. So that's very similar to these last ones here. But you can see that like it's it's a little more like it's a little smaller and a little more slanted and a little bit more angular. I like it. I like that you can make and I like the it's crazy how much a difference it makes. There you've got sort of like apprehensive curiosity, and then here you've got just like judgment. You know, it's like it, it, it's crazy how much that that tiny little that tiny little change makes. Look, look, look. A tiny little difference there is, is huge. It's, it's kind of cool. I like what they did with it. And then the eye colors. So the eye colors are a big deal on these guys. Even though they have less colors to choose from, uh, it, it, it also modifies the, the look a lot. You know, I always think the uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and I think, oh my god, this is like a, a, a drow. Where's the purple eyes? You know, like, where, why, why, why wouldn't you have these? But it's not the same game, you know? You always think it's the same, but it's not. Funny that that's the default one. We'll go for the red eyes. Eye height. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we stick that in the middle. Eye width. Eye depth. That does change things. You just can't see it very well here. Eyeliner. Here we go again. Eh, the darker ones are kind of cool on this. Eye shadow. I like it. I like changing the darker uh, colors here. It actually sort of just suits the dark elf, making making the eyes sort of more mysterious in a way, you know? Okay, let's go to the brows. Here, it's like, once again, the exact same styles I can see, because these are the ones that I said look like fire. Uh, all these unkempt styles and all these little curly corners and stuff, exactly the same as the Breton. I wonder if the females will have different ones. I actually kind of like the high bro high brow on this. It looks good. Wow, wow. I mean, okay, it doesn't look that good. Let's not go that high. Brow forward is just the protrusion. Eh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there you go. That's the options. Mouth. Mouth shape. Okay, this seems to be something. Not as impactful as the eyes, but in combination with something like the eyes, you could probably set up a decent mood here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Mouth height. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you could probably make like a caricature of yourself in this. You can make your character, you can make your character again, and then, and then you make it like more ridiculous looking in every way. Uh, it's probably quite possible, actually. I, I don't even mind if these guys have long chins. The only thing I don't like about stretching the chin so far is that it sort of blurs the texture a little bit, so... It's a technical shortcoming that I'm not too fond of. I'd actually like black on the lips here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. These guys don't know how to go bald. Fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take that. It's like that's shaved. It's not bald. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, dark elves. I mean, they may know a thing or two about receding. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, they have one bald style. But, like, there's, there's not really very much baldness here. And, like, a lot of these are actually really cool styles, man. So, more long styles. You got, like, more ponytailed stuff. Uh, it's, it's cool. Let's turn it a little bit and look. Yeah, more ponytail stuff. And this is, a, this is, again, on purpose style. You can see it shaved there and stuff. Unless that is a proper receding hairline. I don't know, man. 
these are all good styles uh for the for the dark elves however i personally like something like this i don't know why it just suits them i like the mohawks on them as well and i like the ponytails i don't know why but the ponytails sort of they, they say dark elf to me okay the facial hair is exactly the same as the bretons uh, you have all the different styles here it, it's it's not like they're holding them back it's not like these guys can't grow a nice beard it seems like they can and I personally, on these guys, like... Oh, wait, wait, they, they can't. They can't have the massive bushy beard, see? It's all just sort of more trimmed and, and stylized. I personally like these longer styles on the on the Dark Elves. And, and, like, on them, I think you either need to go for, like, the white one, which actually looks really nice, or because of the way I did my face now, I'd go for the black. You know? There you go. That looks kind of cool. Lots of options here. Lots of options. Back we go. High Elf. Oh, yeah. They look smug as shit. Very good. Very, very good. I'll take it. I, dude, there's so much restraint. Not switching to the females there every time. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, I, I expected sort of some more pale, or not pale, but lighter skinned styles. Not exactly what I thought would happen here. Like, it's not exactly what I what I came into this expecting to see. Yeah. Okay. And with these guys, I think you need to go for the lowest weight. I don't know. That just suits them in my head somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, that's on you, but I, I think it looks cool like this. Okay, yeah, let's just took the dirt color all the way to the max and see if it looks any different. Yeah, these know they, they know how to get dirty, don't they? That's some good dirt right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Scars. Okay, they look like they are exactly the same. Still, though, I gotta say, for like 10 years old, this game had some really good shit in the character creator, man. I'm, I'm actually honestly just impressed. Now, I do remember what the Dark Elf ones looked like, so if we get to the end here, I'll immediately be able to tell you if it's the same styles or not. Oh, yeah. So, I was right. Those last few were exclusive to Dark Elves. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this one ends over here. There's like four or five extra ones on Dark Elves. The war paint colors are going to be the same. Uh, it's, yeah, it's exactly the same. Ah, wait, we need to take that off. I wonder if this is easier with a keyboard. I don't know. It's probably e even easier with a controller if I use the controller to do this. I'm not sure if they have controller support built into this. If any of you guys know, you can let me know down in the comment section. Okay. I, I, I don't like the fact that this is the exact same options as there's the hook nose. That's, that's the like witch nose that I was using. It's the exact same options as, well, every other character we've looked at so far, except the Argonians, obviously. I'm pretty excited for the Khajiit. I'll be real with you. I think that it's going to be kind of fun to make a Khajiit. Their noses are by default quite high. And their chins are by default quite long. Okay, jaws. Turn him forward. Yeah, dude. They got jaws, huh? That's sharp. Their features are sharp. What does that do? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, not much here. I would. I thought the cheekbones might have a bigger effect. I mean, it's yeah. I guess it changes enough. Cheekbone color. Here we go again. Okay, so these settings. In case you skip in here to see this specific race, I'm, I'm gonna say it here on everyone, I guess. But like, it's basically just choosing between a a warm color, a cold color, and a dark color. Whenever you go for any of these colors, it's like cheek lower color. It's like, it's just, you're choosing, uh, it, it's, I don't know, what is it? I can't see from here. That's the warm color. That's the, the, the cold color. That's the dark color. I don't know. It, I, I find it a little weird. There's different colors, as you can see. It seems like they have one extra here. The Bretons only had, uh, maybe the dark elves as well. Also only had four. But you basically just add in some some extra color. And I mean, sometimes you'd want that, I suppose. But it, it's not going to be a full color, which makes it kind of weird. I don't know. It's like a pretty scuffed system, in my opinion. 
eye shape. Uh, these are similar to the Dark Elves. Obviously, I mean, the face shape is similar to the Dark Elves, but let's look. Yeah, okay. Got some interesting stuff happening with the uh, eyelids over here. You can see it's like slightly, slightly different on, on all of them. Let's go for those ones. Eye color. Very much like curated, you know. You don't really get to go off the beaten path so much. All of them have the, the, the cloudy eyes. All of them have the black eyes. And then they have a few colors scattered in there. And in this case, it's like reds and oranges or something. And, and the greens. Green, red, and orange or whatever. Or green, is it just green and orange? Yeah. High height. The width. And depth. You know what depth does. You know what depth does. Damn, I didn't expect so many options, man. But but the one thing again is that it does seem like the uh, the options they do seem to like share themselves amongst the crowd. So like you're looking at the same stuff on this as you are looking on, well, at on 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 the other races. Even again the eyebrows, it's like all the same. It's all the same. It's like there's the there's the normal one that you should probably take, and then there's all these bushy ones. Then there's the big fiery one there. <laughs> it looks like a damn bushfire on your brow. And, uh, yeah, some of them are a little out of control and, and some of them are a little bit more neat, but it's not really, it's not really that much choice. Forward the brow. Mouth. Hmm. Honestly, some of these look better than others, but this is again, we're going to be where you like sort of set the mood for your character. You want confidence, you want a meek looking character, strong looking character, weak looking character. You know, you go where you want to go with it. Same with these ones. Uh well, I mean not so much. This is this is like this is dangerous ground. You're gonna you're gonna you walk in a line here if you change any of these. But uh You can you can definitely do some interesting stuff like oh my god, look at that. Like these guys. That is that shouldn't exist. That's too much chin. Yeah, that chin is too powerful. Okay, let's 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 nerf the chin a little bit. There you go. It's already quite it's already quite uh, sharp down at the bottom there. Yeah, man. Here, here we go. My guess, same as dark elves. Seems like mostly a correct guess, but there are some styles that are not here. So the swept over to the side one is not here. The the no the mo sorry the mohawk with the with the uh, with the braid hanging down the side that's not here or the mohawk is not here actually. No, there's the mohawk, but there was also a mohawk with a braid. They don't do braids apparently. No braids here. Okay. Facial here. I mean, alright. This is the same as the Dark Elves, where you can go for like the, the, the regular old beard, but you can't go for like the mega bushy one. That's cool. That's fine. And then the hair colors. I don't, also don't think this is going to be much different. Uh, they'll be the one, yeah, the one lighter one, the one slightly lighter one, and then you back to dark. So it's like, yeah, it's okay. This one has sort of some highlights in and stuff. It looks okay, I guess, but it's nothing really special. Alright. Imperial. Now this, I hate to say, is probably going to be the same as Britain, is going to be the same as Nord, is going to be the same as Red God. Like, I don't know. They, they, they're they going to share a lot of, of common... Uh, yeah, like this looks almost exactly like the character we started on on Britain. Almost. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like, that's an older looking face, a gruffer, rougher looking face. Go for a darker skin color this time. I, I would have thought like some of them would be taller, 
bigger. They would be affected by the weight more. Stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave it sort of in the middle here, I think, for this. This doesn't really affect the face, as you can see. It goes up the neck, and that's about as far as it is. It doesn't really affect the face. Yeah. Complexion. Dirt. I mean, we've been here before. The dirt is much the same. I mean, that's the reason I usually take a lighter skin color, is because you can see the dirt better. I mean, at least you can see the scars. I don't know why they start every male with this, this like, the shaved goatee type thing on. Like, they start them all on the same preset. Well, the same type of preset. Maybe they did some research and that's what people want to see. I don't know. War paint. Let's see if there's anything unique to them. Yeah, there they go. That's, that's where it ends. That's where the common line ends. And these are unique to them. Hmm. Angular. Sort of more, more sort of planned out, well-constructed war paint. It's kind of cool, I guess. And the color is the color. I don't think we're going to have much of a difference here. It's all the same. Yeah. The color is the color. Cool. Face. The nose type. Interesting that that didn't start on the first one. Yeah, lots of choices, but uh, ultimately the same. Now I'm very curious about the females, to be honest. Pretty curious. Cheekbones. I like going through all of the options on every, like, you know, class, well, race combination, sorry, race and sex combination, because sometimes, again, you, like, you find these outliers that just affect things so much more, and it's nice to know. You know, it's nice to have that complete picture in your mind, and if you go through all the options, then, and I don't know if it works the same for you guys, but it, maybe it's just me, but if you go through all the options, then it's much easier at the end of the day, if you've seen everything that the game has to offer, it's much easier to sort of paint a picture in your mind of the character you want to make, and then, and then put it together, it, it, if you get that, if you get that broad picture, you know, the, the broad strokes of, of what's available on all the different races and stuff. I don't know, it might just be me that likes, I like seeing all of it ahead of time, then I go in, I jump in, I make the character, and it's much easier for me to find what I'm looking for and, and sort of nail the look down. Let's have a look. I wonder if they're going to have blue eyes. That's the sad eyes, let's take the sad eyes. They shouldn't. Like, if I'm looking at this right now, it looks to me like they need to have brown eyes. Like, they should be all the, the regular. Maybe gray. Oh, there's blue. Gray. Oh, are these the blue? No, 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 no. No, so blue eyes, blonde hair. That's the Nord, right? Yeah. So in this, in this game, blue eyes, blonde hair is definitely Nord. Eye height. The eye width. You can make your character... All you do is that, and your character just instantly looks kind of weird and you don't know why <laughs> that's all you gotta do just drag that slider the one way and you've ruined it okay eyeliner i like the eyeliner in this game man i think it's subtle enough that you can get away with using it on pretty much any character same for the eyeshadow actually i i think it adds like an air of mystery maybe it's like this in real life maybe i'm just not using I eyeshadow or eyeliner correctly, you know, maybe I should put it on and I can add an air of mystery to myself IRL. I don't know man. It might not be what like what ends up coming across to other people when they see me But they might not think oh that guy's mysterious. They'll rather think what did he get into his mother's makeup? You know, that's probably what they'll get but like, you know, still it might be <laughs> might be worth a try Who knows? Same same eyebrows same eyebrows everywhere everyone all the same God, that's also one way to ruin your character irreparably remove the eyebrows I'm just like I'm just listening now to the music here and I'm hearing this like ominous background drone in I didn't realize how it was wow he looks so worried worried concerned worried concerned worried concerned it's like so crazy how much of an effect that has crazy wow 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 this is the forward it's like you know what it is 
Okay, mouth. He's got a big fat lip at the bottom there. Nice. Oh yeah, I see. It is a bit forward, right? Yeah, it's a bit forward. Okay. Well, that's a big lip. Honestly, the big lip actually looks kind of natural on him. I don't know. <laughs> oh shit, I like it. No ways. I don't know, there's like a meme template that looks like that. I can't remember which one it is, but... Oof. 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 That's a confidence killer there. You need a strong chin, dude. You need a strong chin. Dude, it's so difficult. Man, like, navigating these menus, I forgot how much of a pain it is. A true arduous task. Something I definitely, definitely did not miss. Here's the... Male pattern baldness back. They they go for, they give you all the bald styles on these uh, regular Yumi races. These are different. These are new. Uh, these are unique to the Imperials here. I ended up making a character that looks nothing like what these guys should look. There's the one I was talking about, the braid and the and the mohawk. So it's back for them. And, and I feel like these are new styles as well. I mean, at least these were not available on the uh, elves. Okay. That kind of suits him, to be honest. Facial hair. They most likely can grow a beard, these guys. So you've got the, the neck beards, the small ones, the big ones. Yeah, the big mustaches are back, which means the big beard's also going to be back. The mutton chops are here. Yeah, I like the big beards, man. Honesty. This guy looks kind of mean. I like this. I like this a lot. He'd probably look quite good with the uh, with the gray beard as well. Oh yeah, dude. What the shit? Damn, I I managed to make a pretty cool character. Like you throw a couple of scars on the face. Uh, yeah, you got yourself a, a bad looking guy, and I mean that in a good way. Okay, Kajit, here we go. Ooh, nice presets. Oh, wow. I don't know, man. I actually think the Khajiit in Skyrim look better than the Khajiit in Elder Scrolls Online. Like, I just think you can do so much more with this. And, and, and I don't know if it's me, but, like, I feel like they have more of a personality in this game than they do in, in, uh, in Elder Scrolls Online. I have kind of sort of semi-recently looked at Elder Scrolls Online's character creator and I, I, I had a look at all the options and stuff there and man, yeah, like even though you, you'll have slightly better texture work there and you'll have like, you know, slightly better looking characters on the whole, it, these, these still feel like they have some more personality that that kind of lost somewhere. This is just brighter and darker. Dirt. Let's put the dirt color up and look what it looks like. There's no dirt. Khajiit, they don't get dirty. Okay. The scars look kind of crappy on them. I mean, you could probably find a nice one and put it on a little spot where, where it's visible. Like, properly visible. But overall, they just don't look that great, in my opinion. The wall paint's probably also not going to look great. Oh, actually... That looks like it's... Yeah, that look, actually looks like it's adding skin patterns and stuff. So they have unique wall paint. That's interesting. So their, their whole wall paint selection is unique. It's none of the same stuff. Oh, yeah! No, this is actually... looks like you're just moving the skin patterns around. I mean, it looks like it. I don't know if you actually are. Yeah. It's like you, you're moving the splotches around. That's kind of sick. Cool. Okay. I'll leave it off so we can see all the different stuff here. Nose type. This is pretty important. That's a nice little kitty nose, man. Well, I guess it's technically a nice big kitty nose, but... What does it look like from the side? Wow. Personally, I like the button nose, which is technically this one, I guess. Nose height. Jaw width. Okay. Jaw height. Sure, sure. Jaw forward. What is that doing? Oh yeah, okay, that looks kind of stupid when it's all the way to the one side. 
cheekbones. Here is this weird setting. Although this actually kind of works. That's a natural looking color. Some of these colors are natural and you can sort of change the the look of the character's face. Yeah, man. This game actually needed a randomize option. Oh, the laugh lines? What? Dude, that's not a line that comes from laughing. I mean, I guess we're just changing the laugh lines color here in this case. But like, it's kind of weird that they call this laugh lines. Oh, it's like the Argonians, so you can once again customize your whole face. I'm so glad I looked at this because, like, if you had skipped through here quickly, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that you could pick a face and then still customize the face a whole lot. Yeah, look at the line on the nose. Dude, that's so nice. See, I would personally put, like, a darker line on the nose here. Have it look a little more distinctive. There we go. That's kind of cool. neck color okay and forehead color oh yeah there you have that you have that sort of bleeding into the nose color there eyes definitely way less options for eyes they got the emotions here though sad sympathetic uh, uh, aware skeptical slash angry yeah, you got everything. You got everything you need. Eye colors. More like pupil styles and stuff like that here. Obviously, because they are cats, they'll have some different styles here. That's good. That's good. There's the Lord of the Rings Sauron eye. Nice. I'll put that one in. Okay. Eye height. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, sirree. Depth. Every time. Every time I look at it and I think, okay, this time it's going to be something fantastical. No, every time it's the same. I actually like that that looks natural. And this kind of looks natural too. It's just a different style of cat. It's nice. Whereas on a human looking character, that shit just doesn't look good. Eyeshadow does nothing. What is this? Eye tint? Oh, okay, that's the line under the eyes. You could probably get away with, with, with doing something interesting here as well. Like matching it to the ones on the head. There you go. Brow. At least we know we're not going to have the same brows here. Oh yeah, that. Oh, they are. They removed the brow options. Okay, there are no brow options here. See, like the the the, the actual selection of your brows not here because you covered in fur anyway. So like, what are you what are you even thinking? Like, what are you even thinking? Mouth shape. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, okay. The height, sure. Forward, backwards, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, okay. The chin the chin width is interesting. I'd actually take that all the way down. Dude, wow. Yeah, man, I just look at this game and I think to myself, they did good for ten years ago. They I don't know if any of these options are like if if these options are new, you guys can let me know. So I so I know. But like it, it if they wow you know if they if they knew then that's also like kudos to them for adding some new stuff oh wow here we go interesting here you can't actually turn the character around so you guys are seen as far as you can like you can't really that's as far as you can look to the side so they wear most of their wear here along the back oh that's sick I'm, i'll turn it to the front now there's some hairy ears We'll have a look what they look like. Oh yeah, I dig that, man. I dig that. It's like a lynx or a bobcat kind of thing. I like the mohawks on them a lot. And I and I definitely like the uh, the longer hair as well. Yeah, actually, you know, they have some decent hairstyles. Earrings are cool too. My, my personal favorite is obviously this one. Facial hair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. This is also a big deal. Like this, this is kind of sick. Also really like changes the look of your character. I, I personally like these ones. It gives you that catfish vibe, but the emphasis in this case is obviously on cat. You know? Not so much fish. <laughs> I dig it. Colors. Hell yes, man. I could I could see myself playing one of these. That's kind of cool. Nice. Obviously, you don't get to show your character off quite as much in, 
Does it save all of my creations, by the way? Yes, it does. Don't get to show your character off as much in Skyrim because it's not an MMO, but like, yeah. All right, presets. Cool. Yeah, using the war paint here. Nice. Cool. I dig it. Mm, it's nice. You get like the Vikings feel from these guys. I mean, it's, no, you get the Skyrim Nord feel. Okay, that's like that's what it is. But uh, it, it it works. It works. I like it a lot. See, I am a little disappointed that you don't get like a bigger body or whatever. Like uh, these guys should be tall, you know. And I do believe these guys should be tall and fair skinned. Here it actually works quite well. Here the complexion, like it's actually changing stuff. On the other ones, it just looked like dirt and shit. Here it looks like a proper tanned skin, like a leathery skin from time out in the sun or whatever or the harsh environment of Skyrim has done that to the guy's skin yeah all right same scars war paint always interested to see what they have new is that different no oh yeah that's new okay these ones are new and I I think that because we are on these guys you get more colors. I don't know if the other guys had all these colors with the blues and the brighter greens and no, I, th I think you had the same ones, yeah. But but they like their blue war paint. I, I think that's sort of one thing that the Nords have going for them is that they like their their war paint. Right, nose type. Yeah, all right. I am a little disappointed to say there's the nose. That's the check mark. I always know if that one's there, you know it's the same. You know it's exactly the same. So I think the real standout-ish uh, parts of this character, I'm going to go quite fast through these because why not? We, we know exactly what these are doing. The real, it's exactly the same as all the others. So if you skipped here, this is the same as every other race that has a humanoid form. Uh, but I think the real standout-ish parts of, of these races will be the hair. And, and the defining features will end up being the hair and the and like the facial hair and stuff like that. The beards, you know, because that will end up, uh, that does basically nothing, the laugh lines. That will end up having a bigger impact and that will also be sort of unique to the, the race choice. These, these options, they make a lot of sense. If you're looking to do something very specific. And they make a lot of sense on the on the more like crazy out there races like the Khajiit or the Argonians, but on every humanoid race they're kind of pointless. I wonder if the eyes also make a big difference. Um, maybe, maybe. The colors. I expected these guys to have some some like brighter colors. Not really. No, it's not really different in any way. Wow. This is kind of bad. Okay, I would... Th the depth. I'm for once not going to go and scroll around and look at it. Eyeliner. Again, I kind of expected to have some lighter colored stuff here. Maybe some blues for the eyeliner. That would have looked cool. Here's the brow type. And where's my fire? There it is. It's exactly the same. He looks really profoundly sad when you take the brows off completely. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Please don't do that to him, he's saying. I wonder if orcs are going to have something interesting for us. Mouth shape. Yeah, I mean, there you go. There they are. Those are the mouth shapes. It's like a hmm mouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, why not? Mouth height, why not? Forward. Well, you know what that does. Chin width. Okay. The chin length. Once again, I don't like what it does to the textures on the beard. Uh, it would look fine if you had a bigger beard on or you had no beard on. That would look okay. Okay, here we go. The grand finale. Let's see what we got. Okay, they got the boldness here. Longer hairs, yes. All the different Chris Hemsworth styles, basically. Because let's be real, this is the Chris Hemsworth race. Nothing new. Okay. Ah, 
I mean, all right, all right. I think you, I, I would personally go for something like, you know, one of these longer ones with the braids in or something. Looks kind of nice. Facial hair. Strong face, huh? The features are kind of strong. I like it. I would I would say on this specifically, I, I would err on the side of presets because they do have some really nice presets here. Big beards are available. That's good. That's good. Can confirm. And I would have gone with like blonde hair, blue eyes, but they still look good with dark hair as well. They still look good like that. Okay. Box. Here we go. This is also a pretty big deal. Seen what these guys... Okay, yeah. That's that's good looking orc, dude. That's good looking orc. I, I, I have like a very distinct and vivid image of how the Oblivion orcs look. Wow, that's sick. And these guys look like they have really good texture work. For some reason, the textures on the orcish face, they seem much better than the textures on the other. Maybe we zoom in, maybe it'll look different. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look. Yeah, I mean, it's not much better. It's a little, They seem a little bit better. Yeah, this sort of darkens the lines on the face a little bit. The dirt, I mean, we know what the dirt's going to do. Basically nothing. I wonder where the tusks come in. Is that going to be in the mouth section? Scars are the same. Let's check the war paint out. Okay, they got unique orcish ones. Not a lot of unique orcish ones, but some unique orcish ones. Interesting. Alright. Nose type. Oh, wait. Oh my god, wow. Hey, we actually have some unique noses here. Uh, yeah, different noses. Interesting. They have their own noses. They're not sharing noses with the humans. That's good, that's good. That's very good. Let's look at the jaw. Not actually doing too much. Alright. Cheekbones. Yeah, why not? Cheekbone width. Alright. And then the cheek color. I hate this option. <laughs> I don't know why it exists. Oh, jeez. It's right there with laugh lines for me. Like, I didn't know that's where laugh lines were. It's literally just making it a little bit darker. Again, there might be a place for this. But it's not on my character. The place is not... Look, that barely changes it. Eyes. Oh, wow. Okay, so the eye shape is pretty important here. It definitely changes stuff a lot. Gives you different moods, different feels for the character... Well, basically different everything. Like this is like, this is vastly different from that. That's an angry one. Eye color. Hey, black is first. Then they have cloudy. Different order in here. And some more darker styles. I'm not sure what those pupils are. That's like a weird sideways diamond pupil. Interesting. Okay, let's just go for black eyes. That looks fine. Eye height. I like how the eyes seem to stay still, and then the <laughs> and then it's just the, like the the eye frame that's moving, you know. See, when they're on black, it's like you're actually staring into the depths of space, into the void. It's kind of cool. I mean, I like it. And again, in this case, I would I would turn up, I do this on every character now, but I would turn up the eye shadow and the uh, eye tint and stuff, just to make it, just to make it even more pronounced how how dark those eyes are, you know. Because a lot of people, they'd say, you know, people can read you by looking at your eyes. Not this guy, no. You won't see this guy's eyes, not even in broad daylight. Oh, oh shit. What is that? Hell yes, I didn't expect to find this here. Now, how do you grow these horns? How do, how do you know? Like, you know, who, who, who grows these horns, who doesn't? Is this a male thing? I like that. Brow height. The width. Okay. Mouth. This is probably going to be a big one, right? Shape is going to have the horn. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, no. It's not really moving the tusks much. You can see those are longer tusks. Shorter tusks. I guess this is where you change. But everyone has tusks. Take the long ones. Mouth height. 
forward and backwards. And then lip color. Okay, I'll go for the black lips. Why not? Hair. Hairstyles. These guys should also not really do baldness, right? I mean, maybe a shaved head, sure. There's like some top knots and stuff going on here, but you can't really see them because you can't turn the hair, the thing all the way back to the side. That actually looks more like it's shaved than a, than a bald, but it's whatever. Oh yeah, this is a unique style. Holy shit. There are actually some unique styles here. Cool. And like that top knot's also like, it's not on the others, is it? That's just at the back, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hell yes. Okay, I dig this one. Facial hair. You got all of them here, it seems. Oh, yeah, even the big beards. What the hell? I, I personally think it looks good without the facial hair. Uh, maybe the nose needs a bit of work on this one specifically, but it's whatever. I'm not going to change it now. Yeah, I didn't know they'd have, like, dready type stuff here. Some dreadlocks. That's kind of sick. Okay. Cool. Yo, Red God. Hey. Hey. What's up? They're obviously going to have dreadlocks. Yeah. Cornrows, dreadlocks, afros, stuff like that. Some unique uh, face paint options as well. Cool. Yeah, these, these presets are good. Dude, the presets are way better. They're way better. Like, I, I don't want to say it's better than what I would have made myself, but like, they're quite, they're quite good. They, yeah, no, actually no, I will, I'll say it. It's better than I would, it's better than what I would have come up with, for sure. For sure. What do you know, the dirt slider sucks. Okay, hmm. It's 2021, and there's still a dirt slider that does nothing. The scars, you can't really see them very well on the face. It could be a, a, like an, a lighting thing. Let's let's do the war paint properly. Please. I'm just going to change the color to a brighter one. There you go. There are definitely going to be a few unique ones here. Yeah, there you go. Dude, sick. Those are nice. And the colors are going to be the same. The same. Exactly the same. Okay. Face. Yeah, listen, don't get your hopes up for this. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same as all the other human ones. Yeah, there's the nose. Same ones. Jaw width. Jaw height. Can't, can't even really see it. It's too dark. There we go. Turn this way. That's actually smart. Now I've got the light on this side. It's dark on that side, so... Okay. Jaw forward. Yes. Cheekbones. Hey, yo. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to say, like, I could probably have saved a lot of time and just looked at the presets for all the characters. And that probably, I, I think, would have uh, slaked everyone's character creation thirst, you know? <laughs> it would have satiated the hunger for, for seeing what's in this game. Uh, because, like, a lot of these are very samey. Like, they're not doing anything here. Yep, the colors here, they're pointless, they do nothing. I mean, they make it darker, than, and then in many cases, in this specific case, you can barely see it changing. Like there, you can like, what is that doing? It's making it like slightly warmer colored on the, on the forehead. Anyway. Eye shape. But then you'd miss out on the, the small things, you know? Like, I, I can tell now, because I've done enough of these videos, that the selling point of these guys will be the hairstyles. Maybe the, maybe there'll be a different facial hair, I don't know. But the selling point will definitely be the hairstyles. That's where you'll sort of get your 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 variation in. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's going to look mostly the same, I think. Okay, these things are the same. Same colors here. Brow. Yeah, same brows. 
I mean, they did good with the character creator, but it is very samey across the board. I'm keen to see the females, I suppose. Oh, wow. Okay, so the mouth shape is kind of cool. It's changing up the character face a lot. Bigger, smaller. The bigs are bigger and the smalls are smaller on this. If you know what I'm saying? But it might be the settings that I've got here. Like, it might be these. No, no, maybe not. I don't know. Not really, no. I mean, the lip color, no, it's nothing. No, they just they just have a slightly different looking mouth. Okay. Here. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Mm. Okay, these are all the same. All the same. All the same. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, sure, sure. There you go. Afros. Okay. And... Yeah. Decent selection. Alright. Uh, I don't know what, what kind of hair color we want here. I guess we can go with like a black and see what it looks like. Or, I mean, you can see the details better if you go for a grey, I guess. Hey, that really highlights the face nicely, man. I like that. Yeah, so some some cool styles here. There's nothing too crazy or out there, but I mean, I like this personally. I think it's a really nice one. Facial hair. I don't know, I like the contrast of the lighter hair on the darker skin. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, same facial hair. And I'd, I'd obviously always just put a beard on, because, you know, beards are cool. All right, Wood Elves. Speaking of beards, these guys will not have any. Eh. I mean... I mean, yeah, you're getting some different looking guys here. But because they have this, like, big banana face, they all kind of look similar. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy, I don't know. Kind of crazy, but they all look similar. And your your skin color difference there is not huge. Yeah, yeah. Why are you looking all the way over there? Look at me, guy. Yeah, that makes him look sort of like he's cell shaded. Do you guys see that? Interesting. Huh. Wow, it really does make him look like he's sort of... That's interesting. I don't I don't know what... Uh, uh. Actually, it, it's not It's not just that. It's just... It, it's, I see it now on that as well. It looks like the character itself is just cel-shaded for some reason. Like a weird, uh, weird style. I kind of like it. But it does look weird. War paint. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's change the color to the white one. These are the ones unique to them. Well, I mean, I'm not sure how many are actually truly unique. They might have been on some of the others as well, but... Yeah. Alright. Face. Noses. Do we have the humanoid noses? I think we do. Just based on this first little bit that I'm going through here. Indeed, there it is. Every time, dude. Same as on the Dark Elves, you sort of get more out of your cheek settings. <laughs> it's like, you can go really big on the cheekbones and the and the jaw and stuff. Well, maybe a little bit less on the jaw. Like, the jaw, it's like, it's it's there, it's it's prominent, but it's it's slightly, like, less impactful, I suppose. The cheek's where it's at with these guys. Cheek colors, that's so, that's so bad, man. What is that little splotch? Laugh lines. That actually looks okay. Putting a little bit of color on the on the lower face, that looks okay. But putting it on the nose kills it. That's like, that's, there. That's, that's cool. It just looks like you sort of, you know, you spent a day out on the, on the back of the wagon. And, and the dust got in your face and stuff, you know? Yeah, okay. I'll take that. But on the, on the forehead as well. Yeah, you don't want that on the forehead. No, 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 no. No thanks. No thanks. 
Big eyes. Different eyes. Look at the shape, man. That's so different. Okay. Huh. Alright. Eye color. I don't know. I always just imagine the Bosma with these dark eyes. That's why I always pick them. But they do have a lot more dark styles. And that, to me, that just suits them. I don't know. That just suits them. It works. Eye depth. Yeah, because we're crazy. We're looking at it for the hundredth time. Eyeliner is the same. Cool. That brow. That same old brow. Yeah. Brow height. Okay. Sure, sure. And the mouth also sort of changes how it looks quite a lot. Huh. Even the bigger ones look okay. Even the even the slightly bigger ones sort of make it look different enough to warrant their use. Cool. Okay, and you can obviously go long on the chin, like you can on the uh, Dark Elves. Really long on the chin. Here. Here we go, let's see what's up. Some the same here, but it's looking like this bar is quite long. Let's see what we got at the end. Nope. This is probably the most limited of all of them. Wow, that's kind of sad, I guess. I mean, I always go for stuff like this on them. I feel like it suits them, but it might just be a me thing. I wonder what kind of beards we can get on these guys. The stubble looks kind of nice. Uh, I think it looks alright. And then the, the more, like, uh, chiseled beards. Yeah, this is the same as the Dark Elves, where you only get the cut beards and not the... That looks good. That looks good. Huh, and they look good blonde as well. Cool. Yeah. That's actually it. Holy crap. Wow, who, who'd have thought? Uh, we've, we've finished on the on the males. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. So, female. Uh, this is going to be an adventure. A completely different adventure. Now, the presets here, don't know how much they're going to look different. On, on the Argonians, like, I'm going to be real with you. I think the males and the females, they really do look very similar. I'm not trying to be racist here, you know, but uh, it's just, it is what it is. I, I think there might be some sort of unique styles to it. That you could like change some smaller things uh, but for the most part the argonians they're gonna look very similar i think the khajiit actually look a little different but uh yeah your 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 weight slider also seems to work a little differently you can see it it pushes more to the chest into the hips which i guess is more realistic i don't know it makes more sense okay yeah i remember that dirt dirt color sure it's like light and dark right yeah wow that's like really ugly Scars look kind of shitty. It would be kind of nice if you could have moved the scars around. That would have been good. The war paint, I mean... It just doesn't work on the scales. In my opinion, the, the red looks cool. Uh, but, but like, it, it... I don't know. It doesn't really work on the scales. Like, it, it, it ends up looking, like I said, like someone used a highlighter on your character and it looks a little out of place, you know? These nose types. Nose height. Yeah, I, 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 I must say, after looking at all the Humies, I kind of missed this. The the changes here have been sort of, you know, more of a big deal. And, and I like that when you do different stuff here, it's not like some things just look wrong. You know, some of the stuff, it, it's, even though it's a little extreme one way or the other, It still looks good. However, again, like, to be honest, these colors and stuff, they make a big difference. You can do some cool stuff with it. But to be honest, the uh, the styles still very similar. Like, you know, the males and the females, they just do look the same. 
you could probably do something really cool by by doing the uh, the colors all like nice the same see see i'm not going to go through all the colors here because you know what they are but these ones like let's, let's do the yellow color and see what it looks like see there you go do something different yeah we on the male one we went all red it looked kind of cool Less eye shapes here, but but more impact because you got like the little horns coming out the side there and stuff, as you can see there. Kind of cool. Let's go for the yellow eyes. Well, I don't know if that's yellow. It's as close as I can get, I guess. Eye width. Put them close set. Mm. Oh, here we go. Yellow yellow that's kind of sick yeah so you can I, I i really believe that you can make something really cool looking you can make like a rainbow lizard here if you wanted to huh the horns i don't know if there's less styles than the male i can't remember i i know it was only like an hour ago but i still can't remember uh it's it's kind of cool how this affects the horns though there you go But yeah, we can definitely move a little quicker through the female ones. I, I, I realize that some people prefer looking at the females than the males, but it, it wouldn't have mattered either way, to be honest. I like the long, long neck here. Like, if you look at the one, you're going to get the same options. There's a few differences, like the facial hair and stuff, but you're going to get most of the same options, you know. That's new. Okay. I don't know if that's new with the coins on there or what, but like that one seems different with the little flaps on the back. Yeah. And the hair color once again just changes the feathers. So if you don't have feathers, it doesn't really matter what you're doing with hair color. I that looks cool. I'd I'd, I'd go with something like that, sure. Sure. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the horns that come with the feathers. Maybe these ones look better. Yeah. But, um, it looks okay. Yeah, female Argonians, man. Not bad. Oh, well. Jesus. I, I kind of forgot what Skyrim females look like. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. What the hell? There are some cool looking characters here. That's kind of sick. It's nice. It's different, you know? Okay, skin tone. Yeah. That's, you know, that's something. It's definitely something. I'm going to go with the pale skin just again so we can see everything. I think that makes sense. Yeah, even if you go for the, like, the heavier set one, it's not really very heavy at all. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's have a look. Complexion. Yeah, okay, so on these characters, the complexion really works better. Like, if you look at these, it's like a proper... Uh, I'm not going to say older look, but um, it's uh, it's definitely, like, more pronounced. Huh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but it's nice to see. The dirt's probably also going to be more pronounced. Oh, yeah, well, look, it looks more natural. Scars. Oh, yeah, well, it's nice that you can at least see them. It's a nice looking lady face. Cool. Uh, the wall paint and stuff's gonna be kind of boring. I'm just gonna pick like this. Here we go. Oh, wow. oh the color is fine, actually. I'm just gonna pick the color and then we'll go through all of them and see. These are the Britain unique ones. Okay. I mean, yeah, you, I think you can use the 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 face paint, or at least the war paint, to, to like some decent extent here to do something kind of cool, I reckon. I wonder if they're going to have the same situation as the males with the nose. They're going to have the same nose. Se second last one, hook. No, it's different. Okay. My, it'll be the same across all of the uh, females, but it's at least it's a bit different. That's cool. That's cool.
Huh. Yeah, man. I think you'll probably make some nice characters here. I'm kind of keen to see how, how I can uh, sort of fiddle around here to make a nice looking... I don't know, I never, I never really considered going for a human style character, but... Not much there, huh? that doesn't do much. But this looks okay. Cheek color, here we go, my favorite sit in. Not. Yeah, okay, so these are such pointless. Oh, like, especially on the humans, it's like, I don't even know what the hell, man. Okay. Okay. Eyes. This is kind of an important setting, I think. Because her eyes are... Well, given the rest of her face, they're a pretty big feature. I suppose. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's nice to be able to see the eyes. I wish I could zoom in even more, just to get like the, the full detail of these uh, changes that I'm making here. Huh. Nice. Dude, oh my god. Oh my god, just scroll. <laughs> just scroll. I have to scroll like a hundred times. So the width. The depth. Huh? Eyeliner? How's this gonna be for us? I like it once again. Yeah, ladies, put that eyeliner on. It looks good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It just adds that air of mystery to the character. That's cool. It's cool. So the brow types. Are we going to have the fire brow? No, no. These are sculpted, you see? The ladies have a little respect for themselves. They have decent brow. Far less than the men, but like they have decent brows here. Cool. Brow height. Brow width. And brow forward. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Mouth. They have a certain look to them, though, and I think I actually kind of, like, I, I want to say I respect it. I, I like that they have, you know, I, I think we're going to switch to the others. We're going to switch to Imperial, Nord, whatever whatever the other ones are, and, and they're going to have a certain look to them as well. And, and, like, it's cool because, you know, at a certain point, if you play enough of this, you'll be able to pick one of them out of a crowd. You'll be able to say, hey, that's a Breton. Oh, that's a Red God. Oh, that, you know, that's a Nord. And like, that's, that's nice that they've got these iconic styles. Yeah, okay. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. She's good looking. Like, regardless of what I do here, she does look good. I feel like I've gone for a natural look, so I'm not going to put the makeup on right now. This is, this is the interesting part, I think. I like that option where you can just add the braid in. She looks kind of worried about this hair situation. Yeah, won't lie to you. She seems a little stressed about it. That's cool, that's cool. There are some good styles here. There are some styles that I like. Indeed. Yeah, I, I seem to remember taking something like this. I think I took the side path one. It's not available here right now, but I think I took that when I played. Yeah, it's... There's the mohawks here, but the side part isn't here. Hey, these all look good. I mean, personally, I again think that she kind of looks better with a shorter hair. Uh, but, no, nah, she seems, this is a nice one for her as well. And I think, I think she would look good with just dark, like, black hair. You know? Like this. I, I like that style. Wow. This is a nice looking character. I, uh, sort of effortlessly made something that looks kind of decent. Dark elf females, where are we at with them? Oof, man, oof. If you told me this was a male, I'd be like, yeah, that's a male. Okay, much better. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Oh, I like that. Dude. Sick. Some of them do look a lot more masculine. Some of them look a little bit more feminine. Like, this one looks a little crazy. Look at the cracks on the lips and stuff, man. Is that part of the skin tone, or is that, like... That must be the complexion, right? Yeah, it's nothing changes here. The weight down. Head. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you look at that. That's like, it's a little grizzled. 
Um, it's it's cool. I kind of dig it. But at the same time, I mean, it's not the kind of thing I would go for. But you you can make yourself look a little haggard here, and it's it's cool. Do it. Uh huh. The scars, I mean, they are what they are. The dirt, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it never really seems to find a place for me. You know, unfortunately, it just, it, it's like no matter what I do, it doesn't seem to work. Oh, they got some nice face paints, dude. Wait, so yeah, uh, we discussed this before, but I don't remember seeing these ones. Like this? I don't remember. I don't, hmm. Maybe I did see them on the mails. I don't know. But that's definitely unique to them, right? That's definitely unique to them. Yeah. Okay, the nose types. It's all the same. Humanoid faces, what can you say? What can you say? <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me if you do that do you guys remember Baldur's Gate uh, you could play as like the orcish type character they're not they weren't orcs but they were these characters with these these nostrils that were completely exposed I can't even remember what they were called man it's been a while but it kind of looks like that uh, and uh, yeah I, li I like it I like it I, I don't I wouldn't want to use it but I like I like that they give you the option to look crazy like that who knows, this is like quite high up regardless, like the height, I think that looks more natural than having it here somewhere. Okay, the jaw. Cool, cool. Cheekbones. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Jesus. I'm like, I'm like happily going through the colors and then this, this, this arrives, you know? And then I think to myself, oh, God. Are we here already? These damn colors, man. These damn colors. Again, I understand why they're there. I just don't, I just don't, oh, I just don't like them, okay? Forehead color, let's see you, okay? Yeah, man, it, it really is like they, they think that you want to go for that, hey, I work in a coal mine thing. So, like, I get it. We'll see. I don't know. Like, maybe one day someone will make a character that looks good with, with all of it. There's some weird... What is that? Huh. Eye shapes. Nice eyes. Whoa, that's kind of sick. They're really big. Huh. I... Hmm. <laughs> I don't... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I, I want to go for the dark eyes. I'm not going to do it because it always makes them look a certain way. But I always make my characters look like that. So what can I say, man? I, I, I have a type... When it comes to these types of games, I have a type, and I I sort of generally, I think, tend to... It's funny that they had the eyeliner default on. I generally tend to go for them. Okay, I go for the same type. That is just that. I have a type. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. It's a little depressing. I, I, I'm just thinking back at like all the characters that I made, and like ten years ago, when I played Skyrim, when it first came out, ten years ago, I I made uh, dark eyes, mohawk, you know, pale skin, scar across the eye, bow and arrow, stealth. Boom. That was me. That was me. Am I, am I you? Are you me? Do you guys do the same? Yeah, man. I know a lot of you guys do that. It might not be the same thing. You know, you might have a different style. You might be the, you know, might be the red-haired, uh, crazy bushy red hair, 
a big broad-chested lady with a massive battle axe that might be you in every game you play you know you might have a type as well you might not even know you have a type oh my god that's actually the best is when you discover that you have a type you know no matter what you do with these you can't take these lines out from under the eyes and they always sort of look a little a little ancient you know <laughs> they always look a little ancient oh my god they are the ones that get the pigtails sure there's a mini hawk okay there's the side path that's the one i took last time that's the one i said that's like that's like my style that's the one i take i usually go for that okay so let's check the colors out these all look fine i guess colors are the same nothing special going on here i, I would have liked it if they had given us a little bit more in terms of the colors just a little bit more all right hi elves oh wow what the shit that's like really pretty huh oh my god yeah but again like the especially on the dark elves there the presets that they had so much better than the shit that i put together oh my god i mean i do end up always just going for the very much stock standard middle of the road default one but like it, still the, their presets are really nice oh this is nice that actually looks like freckles that's like the cell shaded one I spoke about before, and that's like old and 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 mangy. Dirt. The dirt actually has a different texture on these guys. Interesting. They have the purest skin so far. I like it, and the scars are really visible on their skin, as you can see. Uh, it's yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's kind of nice if that's what you want to go for. They have decent looking scars in this game. Okay, I'm not even gonna look at the colors. I mean, I will, but like, I'll do it quick. As you can see, it's like, yeah. same, same. But different, because it's on a pretty face. Let's see what kind of nose this pretty face has. I'm always one for the button noses. I guess that's why I married my wife. There you go, the smaller ones, but like, the small thin one, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, where is the small thin one? It's that one, I think, yeah. Funny that they don't have a nose width here. I realize nose width is sort of, it's shoved into nose type. It's it's part of the nose type, but like, they don't really have a nose width. Dude, you can make some really nice square jaws here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can make this lady into like a literal Brad Pitt. <laughs> here we go again. Yeah, okay. I, I should actually do everyone the favor of just skipping this shit, but like, I'm gonna slide them. Just to say I slid them. Just to say that they've been slid. This stuff is stupid. I've said my piece. I shan't say it again. I'm already a broken record where that shit's concerned. They have much nicer eyes. Like, much nicer than the Dark Elves, at least. Like, these are nice eyes, dude. I like these big ones. And the colors are definitely, yeah, uh, dude. Green, orange... And black. I do like the green. Eyeliner. Once again, just looks good. Cool, cool, cool. The eyeshadows, lots of different styles and colors there. Well, it's not really styles, it's just colors. This kind of sort of, it makes me think just like, you know, the recent character creators that I've done that are really good. Like, you know, Cyberpunk had a pretty fantastic character creator. I just think to myself, what would these guys in their prime be able to do with today's technology? I think they would make something truly magnificent. I just hope that it's not going to be the case of, of, well, I suppose the path that many games have gone down in recent years where we like you know they just they don't have the, the people the good people have quit they don't have the vision anymore you know they, they might release something that just doesn't live up to what what we've come to expect from them because they, they their products are so few and far between and like the far, past few years have been marred by releases that honestly have not really enthused everyone all that greatly like fallout 76 comes to mind you know <laughs> and and um i'm really hoping that 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 none of that really affects it i hope you know, it's funny I, I say it, but like oftentimes you don't want it, 
but I hope that they work in, in, in somewhat of a bubble and like they, they, they keep in their values set in, in let's say the position where they were when they made these, these great games that they've made, you know? It's, it's funny to say stuff like that because it's not always the best way of doing things, but I think in this specific case, we want, we want to preserve the past, please. Just preserve the past and you know what you can do with it? Bring it to the future. That's how I see this kind of thing. Sorry, I don't get political here now. I don't want to get political here now, but it's just how I feel about this stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited for Elder Scrolls 6. Like, how could I not be? It's funny how they've managed to make every single race and combination have all the same styles. Like, the, the, the colors and stuff. And they've managed to make them all look the same, but different. Although, again, like, I, I kind of like this. They've done good stuff with the presets. I'm proud of what they've done with the presets. They, they always also seem to cater to almost everyone by, like, adding one older looking preset in. And I dig that. I like that. Sure, let's go for somewhere in the middle here. Doesn't really matter. The weight can also sort of go anywhere. It doesn't really do much on the female anyway. Complexion is always interesting. Okay, so on the females, it seems to be always, like, the same kind of thing. Where it's the old one at the end, the, the freckles and stuff here, the weather-worn there... It's all mostly the same. The dirt is exactly the same too. Scars will probably... Yeah, same scars. But they obviously look different on different combinations. The wall paint... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There's always that point there where it stops. And then it's the new stuff for this race. Yeah, okay. Why not? Why not? Colors will be the same as well. Yep. With the golden color at the end these are pretty huh you guys agree right they're pretty like if you don't mess their faces up too much they're kind of nice it's obviously possible that you mess their faces up of course i don't know and and, and some of these also look like a little bit better if you go for like the slightly more slender uh slight jaw you know even though some of these options don't do much, like, you know, they don't, they, there you have to go back. Uh, but sometimes removing the jawline is not good, but sometimes removing it can actually add to the beauty of the character. So it's, a, it's a, a fine line that you walk, but, you know, it's one that is definitely worth checking out. Don't, don't, don't just, don't stay away from that line. You should, you should veer closer to it if you're comfortable and, and see if you can come up with something nice, you know? God damn, who am I fooling? There's no reason to even pull these sliders up and down. I'm doing this because I feel like I have to. <laughs> Shit. These are, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So this is like po heavily modifying the, the type of character that you have. You can even go like sort of more Eastern with this, or I suppose more Oriental with the with the style. Uh, and it's kind of sick. Like that, that, I feel like that, that matches the face the nicest. That's a beautiful set of eyes. Yeah, nice. Funny, I haven't actually gone for blue eyes once yet. Let's do it. I find it really weird how the reflection sits still while you move the, the, the sliders around. It's cool, but a little weird. Eye depth. Yeah, we know what eye depth does. Eyeliner on by default. Interesting. Eyeshadow also on by default. Not a bright, not a dark one, but like a little bit of eyeshadow. Again, I like that. Looks good. I tint. That's the bottom. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, there are some options. There are some options. Brow type. All the nice cut brows. Well groomed, indeed. I think she looks nice with the, the slightly more... Eh. Yeah. The slightly more trimmed one. Yeah, I mean, that's good. It, it affects a lot. Once again, it can really set the tone of your character. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. You know? Yeah? I'm not going to say you heard it here first, because that was kind of obvious. Decent selection of these as well. Mouth height. Sure. Forward. Sure. We know what that does. We get into the interesting stuff after this, I think. Or is it? Is it after this? I've forgotten where we are. Chin can actually go pretty far down, considering we are not on an elf. The elves always seem to have the chins, you know. 
the real chins. Okay, let's look. It's the braid on the side. More longer styles on these, I guess. Yeah, they've got the mohawk as well. No beards on the ladies, you'll notice. That's kind of nice. I like that style. I think that looks kind of sick. And I'm not sure if that's unique to them, but that's a, that's a different one right there. Like, I don't know if I saw that on the others. I don't think I saw that on the other. One of, the old lady had this style on, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Khajiit. We are going to the different ones now. Okay. Here we go. Cool. I mean, they're nice. That one looked a little sad. That one. Oh, uh -huh. the presets are nice. There are some cool ones here. I, I, I believe that if you play this game and you're in it sort of casually to, to make a character that looks nice and, and, and works well in the game, <clears throat> I think you should go for the preset. You choose the one you want and then you just like slightly tweak it. You don't, you don't fart around with too many of the settings because honestly, it's going to mess it up and it's going to like, you know, you, you could end up worse than you started. So yeah, I want to say these scars are so pointless on the Khajiit. I like how they put them in different positions, at least. But, okay, so this is, again, just the patterns on the face. But uh, the scars don't really look very good. The, the colors are the same. It's it's the, the natural-looking colors to make the skin look different. It's kind of cool, I guess. So, much like on the Argonians, uh, this is an interesting choice, obviously, the, the, the snoot that you change. But much like on the Argonians, you, you're you going to have some settings here that are going to... The colors at the bottom, they're actually going to make sense. Uh, it, it's like, you know, it's not a it's not an annoyance that doesn't really do anything or make your character look dirty or whatever. It's actually going to change them. You're going to be able to add different colors on different parts, as you can see here. It's nice, I guess. To make your to make your character's face look a little bit more like you want it to look uh, i i personally on these ones i choose the face and then i i guess i go for you know matching colors on that or i just leave it the way it is because why would you change more than you need but it's nice if you want to add some unique markings like if you're trying to maybe uh some people do this okay don't laugh but if you're trying to make your cat <laughs> you're trying to make your own cat your own pet in the game uh, you can do that, you know, you got all the different markings there, you can try at least, I mean, maybe you won't be able to get that far, maybe you won't be able to make something as nice as your uh, real life pet, but, yeah, you know, you can still try, I like the eyes, lots of different eyes here, eye width, depth, the eyeliner, once again, it just, it's sort of, it's not actually eyeliner in this specific situation, it's more just the, uh, the color beneath the eye. This one as well, the tint. Brow. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, knock it around a bit. Cool. Mouth. Doesn't change much because the chin doesn't really change. You know? Like you can see it over there. The height. That's just the bottom. Width. I gotta say, the one thing is that on these Khajiit, the, the skin uh, texture has aged a little worse than maybe the others have. Uh, and I feel like that, that kind of unfortunately makes them a little harder to look at in many cases. But, uh, whatever, you know, you're not gonna be like zooming in high, high definition on your character. You're not gonna be like laser focused on, on, on your character's face. Uh, and for the most part, I guess you're going to be playing first-person mode. These hairstyles are kind of nice. I like that they have more earrings than the males. Not a lot, but they have some new, like, some more interesting styles here. Yeah, and less less of these fluffy eared ones. I like that style. I personally think that looks kind of nice. The hair colors, you guys know what the hair colors are. They're all the same. Everywhere. Not much to choose from on the hair colors, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, they are there if you want to fiddle with them. Yeah, same hair colors. Cool. Nord. 
Nord is okay. I think that they're going to have some interesting presets. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice one as well. Okay. These are cool. Skin tone. I, I thought actually at, cert at a certain point that the Nords could only be lighter skin colors, but it seems like I'm wrong with that. The complexion, probably the same as the... No, see, this one doesn't have the freckles. This one just has like the... There's, there's like some... There's, there's some in-between style freckles, but it's like more red in color. So it looks like it's more of like an ailment rather than a, than a, than a skin type. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can make your character look really sickly, man. Okay, here we go. These are all the same ones. Same, same, same. These are the unique ones. Same as the male, obviously. They look okay. I, I like what they did with the pre-made characters. Like, if you really take your time here and you set something up that's nice, it can work. It can work. Let's see the nose. She actually looked to the side just when I wanted to start on the nose. That's good. Hey, the button nose is the standard one. That's cool. They don't really have that witchy nose that the males have. That really pointy nose. They don't really have that here. Doesn't affect the face too much. They got this sultry look to them, huh? Yeah. Cheekbones. These smoldering eyes. I mean, maybe maybe when I change the eyes, that's going to change too. Uh, but we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. Laugh lines. Yeah, okay. That's not a laugh line. Cheek colors. And I see she's got lipstick on by default here. That's so stupid. <laughs> Let's have a look at the eyes. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I, I mean, I guess what I'm looking at here is they seem to have eyeliner and eyeshadow stuff on already, right? You can go for the black eyes. I like that you can go for the black eyes on anyone. I actually kind of dig that. I think it's a good it's a good move by the, by the guys who made the game because, you know, sometimes you want to be a demon. Why not? Why not? Okay, here. Yeah, they got eyeliner on, you see. And eyeshadow on. Okay. So slightly less sultry, you know. Slightly less seductive when you take all of this off. You know. They, they lose a little bit of that charm. <laughs> that that mysterious nature. It's it's gone. It's gone. When you take the, the, the eye stuff off. But, I mean, they still look good. Not as good anymore. Brows up. That looks nice. I actually think that looks really good. And forward and back. Okay. Mouth. Big mouth. Small mouth. Hmm. That's as close as you can get to puckered lips. Forward, backwards. Yeah. If you want that, that, that baboon shape. Uh, mouth, does it work? Nah, not really. You can't go that far. We did have some character creators recently. I think it was Mirror 4 or something. Uh, where, where you could really like take things to the extreme. And it, it kind of messed with... The, <laughs> the character was like clipping through stuff. And the face was like looking terrible. Whatever. Like that stuff. Yeah. You want to stay away from it. It kind of looks like uh, Cersei from Game of Thrones now. Cersei Lannister. Eh? Uh, it was unintentional. I didn't mean to make her. Would she be a Nord? Maybe. Huh? Maybe. Or maybe a High Elf. I don't think she's proud and honorable, because I feel like that's like the Nord's thing, right? Proud and honorable. Okay, so this style is is here, this, uh, this one. Cool. Hair colors, they're going to be the same, as you can see. I like that they give you these, like, two-tony or different style colors at the end here to mess around with. It's kind of nice. Orcish females. They look kind of good. They look kind of nice. I'm interested by the presets here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What happened to that one? Huh. Okay. Skin tone. 
I, I am a little saddened, like every time I come in here I'm a little saddened by the fact that you can't go for that bright green. It's a different style, like, it's a different style. I realize that uh, it's not the kind of thing that they that really works in this game. This game has a very different color palette to, this is the dirt, to Oblivion. And that, that would not look in, like, like it wouldn't fit, it would look completely out of place, it would not look right in this world. Uh, so I understand why it's not here. But it does still sadden me. That's the one they use on that face that looks so weird. And the colors are going to be the same. Yeah, always ends on the golden one. Okay, face. Oh yeah, okay. At least again, the orcs have their own unique noses. I like them. I'd go for like the upturned one. I don't know. I don't know why, but it, like it seems like these that that like that style just suits the orc better, I think. There you go. Not too far. I want to make the Grinch here. Let's make a wide jaw. See what it looks like. There you go. I mean, why not? I guess. Cheekbone. Cheek color. Oh my god, these sit-ins. Am I going to be a rebel and skip them? Nope. I'm, okay, I'll skip these last few and just go down to the bottom. It's so pointless. These these are so pointless. Filthy skipper. But I can't handle it, man. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of different eye styles here. You can definitely find one that would suit your, your character that you're going for. The look that you want. Same for the colors. They have a lot of different d decent selections here. I mean, they have blues, yellows, reds. It's like they have a really nice, like, look at that. Like, it, ice, ice shaded blue or something. Like, that's kind of cool. Almost sort of celestial in nature. Kind of weird that that's on the orcs, but there it is. Eye depth. Eye liners. Very subtle on the orcs. I shadow eh, less subtle, but it's there. Okay, the brows, the brow type. I wonder if that's going to have the horns as well. Like on the male ones, we got some horns here. No, no horns. Interesting. Uh, well, it was not uh, horns. I mean, they were like really small. If you couldn't consider them horns, they were tiny. But like, they, I guess you could have called them horns. Yes. Now this will affect, yeah, the teeth. I like that you can get like one that's like. Uh, a little bit uh, worn down or broken off or whatever. One that's pointy, one that's not. You can get both broken off like that. It's nice that you can get the different styles. Oh wow, that can go really low down. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that option. I do. I'm leaving that right there. That's perfect. Now that's that's a very singular style that I've gone for there. Yeah, man, the the top knot's synonymous with orc. It just makes sense having a top knot on your orc. It just looks right, you know. And the hairstyles are the same. The the colors are the same. I mean, <laughs> that's cursed. <laughs> oh no. Okay, second last. I'm always most impressed by the presets. Oh wow, that's sick. Yeah, you see, I'm not good enough to use the the, the war paint to its fullest. I'm not good enough for that. I don't know what I'm doing with it, man. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Oh yeah the yeah the 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 like what is this? Take the dirt off. The freckles are back. Let's put the freckles on. That looks okay. Scars. Yeah, they probably work better on this than on the others but like they look okay they look okay war paint color let's just get the war paint on first yeah i firmly believe you can make something really nice with war paint uh i always i always sort of stray away from war paint because i feel like it's the kind of thing that that sets a certain tone for your character and you never get to change that like when you equip armor when you equip different helmets when you in, in mmos when you change your character's hairstyle or whatever and you've got that face paint on it still it funnels you into a certain stereotype or type of of style that you can never really leave if you have the war paint stuck on your face 
so I generally tend to stay away from stuff like wall paint, uh, wall paint, but like scars and stuff, that's a different story, I guess. Can't really see the cheekbones. Yeah, okay, so these colors, I'm going to skip them. You know exactly what they are. Uh, they basically just make it darker. You can go lighter, you can go darker. Uh, it's nothing. Eyes. Eye <laughs> shape is important. Bless you, Nero. <laughs> that was a big sneeze. Yeah, okay, so this is like, again, a big mood for your character. Big difference, once again. Eye colors. Huh. Not bad. The depth. The eyeliner. I like I like that some of them start with it on and some start with it off. I mean, I guess that the the devs or whatever they knew what would look better on which uh, race, and they they went with it, man. They went with it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I like it. I'm sorry. I am I amuse myself too much, maybe. Mouth. Hmm. You see, like, for instance, on these guys and the red guards, like, the, the mouth also seems to, like, affect a little bit more. I mean, maybe I'm seeing things, maybe I've spent too long in this character creator now, but, like, I always feel like these settings are, are more impactful on certain races and certain, with certain combinations, you know, they, they tend to be more impactful and have more of an effect on your actual overall look than on others. As an example, the chin isn't quite as protruded here as on the, uh, the previous one we looked at whereas on the on the uh, nord i mean no on the high elves it's like it's insane uh, same on the dark elves like the chin really plays a big part in how your character looks and, and the cheekbones obviously but like hairstyles they got a decent selection of all of them it seems like they got all the different cultures i suppose you could call it in here wait oh sorry i thought we were on the wait hold on hold on hold on hold on what are we on right now are we on? Yeah, we are on Red Guard. Okay, I was about to say, like, I, I was like, so, so, it's, I find it weird that on Red Guard here, you don't have the afros. I don't know why. Like, that's why I was, that's why I was confused. You have no afros. You got the, the dreads, but you don't have the afros, and that's kind of strange to me. Okay, last one. These guys, this is my home, you know, this is usually where I come to for my characters. Female, Bosma, that's my jam. Uh, basically because, you know, they're the best archers. That's where I come for my character, you know. That's how, that's how, I, that's how I like to roll. But, uh, I don't know. If I do play this again, I think I'll, I'll step outside of my comfort zone. Do something different. I won't go for archery. This is nice. You have two that are slightly older and slightly more worn, uh, you know. And uh, they, they definitely have enough of an effect, once again, to be able to make a, uh, a older or younger character. Well, I mean, an older or, like, maybe a, a well-traveled character. Eh, I like the face styles. The, the war paint, again, looks nice. I, I, I'm more of a fan of the of the Dark Elf ones, uh, and I and I kind of like the Nord ones as well. I don't know. It's, it's like, on certain... Again, in my opinion, on certain races, the, uh, the face paint just makes sense. Like, it, I feel like a Nord has to have that blue line across the face somewhere. They have to have that blue line. <laughs> it's never not amusing. Jaw height. That's pretty good. See, they these guys, the the Bosma, they are like with the ears and stuff. They're the same. You know, these are these are elves. Okay, they're elves. But but when it comes to the the face shape. They are slightly less angular than the than the high elves and the dark elves, and and that allows you to make a slightly more like humanoid looking one. I mean, they all look like humanoids, of course. That's the that's the standard. But like you can you can make one that looks slightly uh, more normal, more human, I guess, not humanoid, more human in nature, and and that could that could be like your happy place, you know. You could make one that 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 will sort of feel a little bit more 
down to earthy. I like that the that the dark eyes are the default here. I said that on the mail as well, but I like it a lot. Okay, we're about to be done here. Fantastic. Can you believe it, huh? What a journey. What an actual journey we've had through this character creator. I didn't expect there to be so many options, really. But uh, they're good options. Even though that there are a lot of them that are like sort of samey on, on, on a lot of the different characters and races that you choose here. Uh, there are good enough options, I think, to, to ma make that whichever one you end up choosing, you can make something unique for yourself there that will feel good when you actually play through the game. Cool. How much does that go? Like, on, on this? Yeah, see on the orc, that, that was like way more protruded. I find it crazy, actually. They sort of allow you more give and take on that on the orcs. Okay, so the hair. This is the moment of truth right here. Ooh, that's really long. Is that unique to them, or is that one of the... It's just one of the elvish ones, I think. And there's the pigtails. The two different types of pigtails. That's the one I took, I think. When I made my character all those years ago. Eh. There's nothing super special here. But wow, I guess that's it. Holy crap. Yo. So, we done. I, I, I can't say like, a, you know, this is a highlight or that's a highlight. I actually honestly think that all these characters look great. They all look really good, especially for a 10-year-old game. So I'm going to say, hey, thanks for, for joining. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you are a trooper. I appreciate it. Give the video a like, share it, and do all that good stuff. Let me know if you are jumping back into Skyrim for the 10-year anniversary with the anniversary edition with all these mods, with the fishing, with all the other stuff. I'd love to hear it. Guys, let me know what your favorite race is. Is there a specific character that you've made that you're, like, really proud of? <laughs> what do you like? What do you dislike? Let me know. And check back here soon for more. Happy that. And happy Skyrim 10-year anniversary. Good God. Wow. Happy that. Thank you.